Okay, everyone, Sophie should be here any second. I can't believe it's already her birthday. When she gets here, don't forget to yell surprise, everyone. Oh my gosh, it's her. Ready? Surprise! Oh my gosh, so! Oh, hi. I'm going to my room. Wait, what? Oh no, she hates it. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna go check in on her. Bestie, hey, uh, is everything okay? I guess. Do you want to talk about it? No. I just want to stare at the ceiling. Um, okay, I'll just give you a minute and I'll be right outside if you need anything. KK. Guys, I don't know what to do. My bestie has been locked up in her room for the past two hours and I decided to send everyone home from the surprise party. Maybe it was just a little too much for her. Something's off. She is not acting like herself at all. It's like she seemed emotionless. What's that? <gasps> oh my gosh! Guys, I think that's the emotion joy. Hi! Is there a Sophie Sampson around here? Yeah, there is. Why do you ask? Well, um, you see, we have a tiny problem. Oh no, what's wrong? Well, all of her emotions have gone missing. Missing? Oh no. Yeah, and I don't exactly know what to do. As much as I would love for her to only feel joy, I need to find the other emotions so she can become more herself again. You're right, we need to find them. What do we do? Where should we look? Well, you see, the problem is that we don't have a headquarters anymore. We can't be there for Sophie if we don't have a home. Oh, Joy, I think I've got it. Yeah? What is it? Come with me. All right. Thank you, Britt. Let's hop in my car. I'll be back later, so... And away we go. Oh, well, Britt, has anyone told you that you're a crazy driver? Oh, yeah. Oops, all the time. <laughs> Sometimes those trees, they just really sneak up on you. Okay, I think over here there is a lot for sale. Perfect. Here we are. And it looks like there's a number on the for sale sign. Let me text them real quick and see if it's still available. Hi, I was wondering if I could rent this property over on Pizza Side. Oh my gosh, yes, perfect. <laughs> this is awesome. Let's get to building, Joy. Are you ready to build a home for Sophie's emotions? Super ready. I think I'll probably make this a two-story home too, so you and the other emotions have plenty of space to work with. That sounds epic. I will say though, I kind of feel bad abandoning Sophie while she's real upset. I know, but the faster you build, the faster she'll be able to feel like herself again. You're right, Joy. Maybe you can start investigating where the other emotions might be. Great idea. I'm gonna leave you to it. I'll let you know if I find anything. Wish me luck. Okay, looks like I'm on my own. Now, time to divide up the spaces. All right, I think that should be enough of a layout. We need a front door. And I think what I wanna do is kind of like a cute set of stairs that welcome you into the front door. So we're gonna do a basic cube shape and kind of make that like a step up. Copy his friend above and also there we are. But guys, seriously, I just can't get over the fact that Sophie's emotions were completely gone on her birthday. And that's like, if there is any day on the calendar that is the emotional day, it's usually your birthday. So I can't imagine what she must be going through. And I just wanted my best friend to have the best birthday ever. That's what she deserves. I mean, she always makes my birthday feel extra special. So I wanted to do the same for her. I'm thinking that once her emotions are back together, I'm gonna do another round of the most epic birthday party you could ever ask for. Why is the roof being so weird? Wait, oh my gosh, I, I got it. Perfect. Whoa, we got that taken care of. Oh wait, hold on. I'm getting a text. <gasps> Yes, it's from Joy. She said she found another emotion, sadness. But she's gonna need some help, so I gotta go downtown and figure out what exactly she means by help. Okay, Joy told me that her and sadness are here at the food festival, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda jealous. I've been wanting to come check this out all week. Where are they? Oh wait, there they are, perfect. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Oh, sadness is just being classic old sadness. <laughs> <laughs> They're out of empanadas. Oh no, that is really sad. Brittany, why don't you tell sadness all about 
about the other delicious food options here at the festival. Oh yeah, I mean, just because they're out of empanadas doesn't mean you can't try something else. I mean, they have boba, they have baklava, they have so many other options that I genuinely forget them all. The empanadas. You know what? You hold that emotion right there, Sadness. I'll be right back. Okay, what should I get, Sadness, that could possibly cheer them up? <gasps> pie? Sounds pretty amazing. I mean, you can't be sad if you have a pie, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, here you go, Sadness. Try this. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, this is quite delicious. Right? Now let's get going. We have other emotions to find. Oh, you can go without me. I'll just slow you down. See what I gotta deal with on a regular basis? But you gotta love her. I got an idea. You're coming with me, Sadness. What are you doing? I'm giving you a helping hand. Now come on, everyone to my car. All right, here we are. Home sweet home. Oh my goodness. It's so pink and colorful. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Oh, okay, Sadness. You know what? Come with me. Here you go, Sadness. You can stay here on the couch for as long as you'd like. Okay. Great thinking, Brit. Okay, time to find the others. Now stay put, Sadness. I mean it. You so got it. Joy, there you are. Hey, how did you find Sadness so quickly? It was pure luck. This town is so big, Brittany. I don't know what to do. You got this, Joy. Don't worry. We're doing this for Sophie. Oh, speaking of, I just got a text from her. She says, hey, I think I'm going to pursue a career of counting grains of rice for a living. That doesn't sound like Sophie at all. Joy, we got to find these other emotions and facts. Okay, this has definitely been a fun adventure. However, I cannot let my bestie pursue a career in counting grains of rice for a living. So let's finish this house pronto. Okay, adding some floors. So first room I'm going to work on down here is going to be Joy's room because honestly, that is my favorite emotion. Joy is the best. And it's always important, even on your worst days, to try and choose joy. Now, what color? I think what we're gonna do is kinda go with like a really nice, happy, ooh, lemon yellow. Yeah, I think that buttermilk color is really pretty. So we'll put that around there. Then for the floor, I'm going to do a wood plank, but hear me out. We're gonna make it like a really nice, light blue. Wait. Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll stick with mostly yellow and then our accents everywhere will be blue. So we got our walls. We're gonna need a bunch of windows. Do we do a stained glass window? Oh my gosh. I love that. And over here, is there just like a regular old window we could use? Yeah, that's not bad. And I'll do the rest of the windows later. For now, I need to work on Joy's room. And I think I know the exact bed I wanna put in here because it's already blue and yellow and it's perfect for Joy. So we got the bed down and I think let's go ahead and do maybe just kind of classy nightstands. And I think I'm gonna put a canopy over the bed too. For this canopy, I think the texture I wanna use is gonna be similar to like what is on Joy's dress. Kind of sort of flowery. Yeah, oh, that blue looks good. Perfect. Now time for some lighting. And I think I'll do like the matching fancy lights over here. A nice little carpet too. All right, this is looking really good so far. So we'll do like a little kind of floral area over here. And also Joy has kind of like flowers on her dress. So I feel like it just all kind of, it fits, it works. <laughs> now for lighting, I'm gonna do fairy lights. And I'm gonna do kind of like a gallery wall here of all different paintings because I'm envisioning Joy putting all different types of photos of things that bring her joy. I'm going to put a dog over here and I'll just put a few different plushes on the bed. Where's the giant teddy bear? Yes. And I'm gonna make it blue, Wait, blue and yellow. Oh, stop. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I also really wanna add like a vanity here. A little chair too. Quickly we'll do some makeup and a little mirror. I think Joy's room is looking good so far. Let's move on to Sadness's room, which you guessed it, people. We are gonna have to do blue. 
and maybe the vibe will kind of be like a little bit cold and modern. After meeting Sadness in person, I think this will be really fun to decorate. So I'm going to use like a bubble shape for the bed because I'm thinking like the circles are like tears. Oh, that'll be the closet door. All right, we need some kind of dresser. Oh my gosh, let's put in like the world's largest TV. <laughs> Perfect. And over here, I'm gonna put a chair for Sadness to read her books. And we'll do this guy, and we'll just do different shades. Whoa, of blue. Oh, I love that. And just to add some decals too. Oh my gosh, more books. Everything is looking good. Maybe some curtains I think will help. Let's give it a shot. Hey, loser, get out of build mode. Is that my sister? Brenda? There is no way. May I help you, sis? Yeah, I need money for an Apple Vision Pro. Why on earth are you asking me for that? What are you building? Long story short, I'm building a house for Sophie's emotions. Ew, pathetic. What even is this house? This door is like insane. I'm gonna check it out. Oh, whoa, hey, wait, Brenda, I'm, I'm not ready yet and I can't even see you. Come on, let's go out here. I'm kind of busy building at the moment. We need to get back to work before Joy and all the others are reunited. Joy? As in Joy the Emotion Joy? Uh, yeah, why? So wait, they're in Bloxburg? Oh my gosh, I gotta go find all the emotions. Wait, why? I'm gonna go get all the emotions so I can have them to myself. If I can make everyone emotionless in Bloxburg, then they wouldn't mind giving me money. That literally makes no sense. To you. And besides, I'm sure you're just jealous you didn't think of it first. Try and stop me. Oh no, I can't have Brenda kidnapping all the emotions. This is really bad. I gotta see if maybe I can talk to Joy. Pineapples, no. Straight to voicemail. What am I supposed to do? I need to warn Joy and stop Brenda. Okay, I checked Brenda's phone and I tracked it to down here. So she must be around here somewhere. And that means one of the emotions probably is too. Wait a second, hold on. Hey. I just don't understand why anyone would shop here. Everything here is ugly. Like this, totally ugly. And a log, what to buy a log? You know, you're right, Disgust. Now come on, let's get going. Hey. So glad I found you, Joy. And it's nice to meet you, Disgust. Ugh, who are you? Disgust, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ugh. Oh, well, Joy, we don't have a lot of time. You see, my sister. Oh no, she was a lot closer than I expected. You're here somewhere. I know it, I know it, I know it. Okay, I don't really have time to explain right now, but you guys just have to follow me right this way. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Move your loose in emotions. It's taking so long. I don't run. Okay, fine. Um, what? Let's go, Joy. Oh boy, I did not expect to carry so many emotions today. What a fun day we're having. I love running. What a great exercise. Okay, so while Disgust is hanging out with Sadness at my house, which I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of fun having all the emotions hanging out at my place, Joy is still out looking for the rest of them. So for now, oh my gosh, this might look crazy crazy, but we are going to paint the walls all different colors for the different emotion. Orange for anxiety. This one, yellow for joy. Green for disgust. Blue for sadness. Purple slash indigo type color for fear. And we kind of have to do like a teal for envy. It's like a teal, but I mean, they always say green with envy. So I guess it's kind of more of like a green color. This honestly might be the most colorful build I've ever done in Bloxburg. Now let's do wood flooring. Something to match the stairs? Yeah. Okay, the slide that looks good. And I'm gonna add some pillars real quick. You know, just to, to jazz up the place. Cute. All of the colors of the emotions are represented, which we love. And now we're gonna hop upstairs and work on Disgust Room. We're gonna make it a minty green. So she kind of seems bougie. I'm not gonna lie. She was turning her nose up at everything. So now that bed screams like princess and luxury to me. And we're gonna need a really fancy like side table to go with it. Oh, I got it. We'll do this very fancy pattern. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a lot of green, but I'm not mad about it. I have this fancy bench. 
Now for lighting. Because if we're doing like fancy vibes, then we're gonna need like real fancy lighting. Maybe a chandelier. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll make the lighting kind of like that bright green, but then the chandelier itself will also be a sage green. We'll hang these as like nightstand lights. And I'm gonna do some beautiful roses along with an alarm clock. And then over here, Oh, we're gonna put money. We definitely need a carpet. Now, we'll put a clothing rack over here for disgust. Here, we'll do a fancy closet. We also really need a mirror. Actually, maybe for the mirror, let's do like a dark green. <gasps> oh, I like that. That's really pretty. Super cute. Oh, over here is like real, real empty. <gasps> Wait, we'll do this. Looks good. But honestly, Disgust needs to be careful because she cannot let my sister Brenda in her room with all this money hanging out because my spoiled sister will probably come and steal it like she does in my room. Hi. <gasps> Sophie! Oh my gosh! How are you feeling? Love the look. You look cozy. I ran out of rice to count. Oh, cool. I, I think. I, do you want to hang out? Do, do you want to do karate? But so if you love karate more than anyone I've ever met in my entire life. Not anymore. I don't love anything. This is way worse than I thought. Okay, um, I'm gonna go back to building, so are, are you okay with laying here? Or sitting here? Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, I just got another text. <gasps> it's from Joy! She found anger! Okay, slowly but surely, she's finding everyone. This is perfect. Now let's start working on the main area over here. So before I moved upstairs, I was starting to work on the layout. So we have like fridge, counter space. Let's find ourselves a TV stand. And we are gonna put a very fancy but beautiful TV. So that way the emotions can hang out and watch TV together. Perfect. Now we need like a big enough cozy sectional or something for all the emotions to come and sit together. This is hard. Maybe, maybe we'll do this. Okay, so we'll have this here. This cozy couch chair in this one. And I'm going to copy the size of the rug from over here. But what we're gonna do is there's that awesome, really cute pattern that has all the colors in it. So I'm gonna put this plant over here. We're gonna need a bookshelf so the emotions can read some books. Some lighting for sure. We've got that chandelier lighting. Now we definitely need to finish up the kitchen, which I at first kind of liked this idea of like separating where the fridge was, but we're just gonna rework it a little. We need our stove and for that we also need the appliance hood. Okay, now just a few cabinets that we need for over the counters. Okay, this little living area is looking good. Okay, so I just made the kitchen. Do you wanna maybe help me build? Yeah. Really? I mean, you would love this build, Bestie. Everything is like crazy multicolored. Cool. Are, are you sure you don't wanna help? I'm fine just laying here. Whatever you wanna do, Bestie. Y'all, it is breaking my heart. I don't know if I've ever seen her this sad before. We'll get through this, Britt. Don't tear up on me now. We'll be fine. Christmas, I hope. Oh, wait, another text. <gasps> Maybe it's Joy. Uh oh, oh, it's the opposite of Joy. <sighs> My sister Brenda and she said found them. Oh no, 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 no. Hey, bestie, um, do you mind just chilling here for a little bit? And uh, if if you see Brenda, don't let her come over. Fine. I can just exist here. Thanks. Um, I'm gonna steal your car. You don't mind, do you? Not at all. Guys, this is not good. Brenda, I know you're here. She's not here. Try again later, stupid. Brenda, I know you're here. Now where are you? Brenda! She's not in here. Maybe she's in my room stealing my stuff? Oh, she definitely stole my stuff, but where is it? <laughs> That's really creepy. I can hear her laughing, but I have no idea where it's coming from. Brenda? She must have a secret room somewhere, but where would it be? She's probably thinking, where would Brittany not guess that I would ever go? And I've got it. Definitely in the basement because A, she's scared of spiders and she's afraid of doing chores like laundry. Brenda, I know you're here somewhere. Tell me where the others are. Tell me now. Sounds like she's behind one of the walls. Wait, the pattern on this wall. See how the tiles aren't lined up? I found you. Brenda, let them go. No way. Having all the emotions held captive is my ticket to being rich. 
Do you understand how insane you sound right now? Shut up, I'm a pure genius. Hey, Brittany, don't want to be a bother, but um, can you have her let us go? We need to save Sophie. Shut up, Joy, who cares about her? I need money. You know what? You're right, Brenda. You do need money. I should go to my piggy bank and get you all of my life savings. <laughs> I knew you'd come around. Brett, are you leaving us behind? Yeah, sorry, guys. I mean, I, I tried. Guys, I'm not gonna leave them behind. This is a trick. I have an idea on how I can get Brenda out of here and set them free. But first, I need a quick disguise. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I feel a little weird ringing my own doorbell, but ding dong. Hello. Oh my goodness, congrats. You just won an all expense paid trip to Paris, France. <gasps> oh my gosh, really? Oh yes, ma'am. And I have you a fancy ticket voucher right here. Now you better hurry. The flat leaves in 10 minutes. This is a dream come true. 10 minutes to pack. Oh my gosh, who am I kidding? I'm buying a whole wardrobe there, Paris. Here I come. Ta-ta for now. Okay, that was really easy. <laughs> Later, Brenda. Now time to free the emotions. Hey, here you are, Joy. There you go, sadness. See, I told you I was coming back for you. Wow, I didn't doubt you for a minute. Now come on, let's round up the emotions and I wanna go show you guys the house I built. We need to get Sophie back to feeling normal. Okay, the house is finally done. Are you guys ready to see it? Yes, the other emotions are already getting comfy in the house. Now let's go take a look. Follow me, right this way. Welcome inside. So this over here is the kitchen. And over here is your fun, awesome living room where all the emotions can hang out together. This is absolutely amazing, Brittany. Thanks, Joy. What do you think, Soph? Cool, I guess. Okay, Joy, so this is Sadness's room. Oh, perfectly sad, just like Sadness. She is going to love it. Oh my gosh, why haven't I showed you your room yet? Right this way, Joy, come on. And this is your room. It makes me so incredibly filled with joy. I love it. Joy, I'm confused. Sophie, this seems a little emotionless. Oh, hold on one second. There's a button over here I have to push. Oh my gosh, so. She should be feeling a lot better now. Man, am I feeling great. Joy, you did it. No, Brittany, we did it. With your help, all of us emotions can stay here and Sophie is back to normal. You know it would be even better, Britt? Heading to Pizza Planet for my birthday. Wanna go? Woohoo! Of course I do, and it's my treat. Joy, come on, let's go.